Salim Rezai here, and I wanted to talk about the ABCs of reading a chest x-ray. It's really as simple as just knowing your ABCs. And so we're gonna go through each letter and just talk about them for a few minutes. So A stands for airway. So when you're looking at your chest x-ray, you wanna look at your trachea and the two main uh, bronchi that come off of that. You wanna make sure it's midline, not pushed over to one side or pulled over to another side. B is bones. And so you want to look at the ribs. You want to make sure there's no fractures, the clavicles, anything that's there that uh, could potentially be from trauma. You want to make sure that you have excluded and not gotten distracted by something else on the chest x-ray. C is for cardiac or a cardiac silhouette. And you basically want to look to see what's the size of the heart, what's the shape of the heart. Is there anything that's around the heart that shouldn't be there? D is for diaphragms, and typically the right hemidiaphragm is higher than the left hemidiaphragm because of the liver that sits underneath it. You want to make sure there's not like a deep sulcus sign uh, concerning for like a pneumothorax or air underneath the diaphragm, which is con concerning for an abdominal perforation. E and F are kind of combined. It's equal lung fields. I kind of cheated there, but equal fields is the easy way to do that. And basically what you want to see is you want to make sure that uh, one lung doesn't look too much bigger than the other lung, although the right side has three lobes and the left side has two lobes. Um, typically, you want to make sure they're about the same size. G stands for gastric bubble, um, and this will be right underneath your left hemidiaphragm. And then H, which I have a little bit high in this chest x-ray, is going to be for your hilum and mediastinum. So it's looking at the pulmonary arteries that are coming off and making sure that the medium stinum doesn't look widened. And then finally, the last thing, which I don't have on this chest x-ray, which is the eye, is going to be invasive lines. Um, this chest x-ray doesn't have any central lines or dialysis catheters uh, or nasogastric tubes for me to point out but that would be the last component. And so there you have it. That's the ABCs of reading a chest x-ray. A is for airway, B is for bones, C is for cardiac, D is for diaphragm, E and F is for equal fields, G for gastric bubble, H for hilum slash mediastinum, and I for invasive lines. Let me know your thoughts and comments. I hope you found that helpful. And until next time.